Okay, well, if it works this time. Are, are, are we live? The quality is going to be a lot lower to show you live. Just if we can get a confirmation that we're live. Well, I just saw Kalko get a shell jump, so you're looking live. I'm just going to ask chat too. You right. stick, stick, uh, right. I hope the stream still looks fine. I had to lower the quality a decent bit. I'm now streaming in only 640. Uh, because apparently my PC can't even have almost 720 restreaming anymore, even though it used to. It's getting worse by the day. I'm sorry about that. Um, but anyways, let's get back to commentary if we don't have any more issues. So, I'm not sure what you guys were able to see on the restream, but Calco just got a shell jump in YI4, so that's pretty cool. Yeah, sorry about that, but I used to be able to restream just 720, no issue, but my computer is getting worse by the day, so I, I couldn't predict that, because I used to be able to stream like this, but now I can't. Alright, so both players are just entering the Iggy fight. This is close. Just World 1, nothing to really worry about. Yeah, both of them are right on top of each other there. Oh yeah, I forgot Calco does an interesting split in the fight there. Alright, so both runners just about to enter World 2 in a minute. So yeah, the interesting thing here, as you'll see, is that Calco is going to be doing no cape here. So he's saying goodbye to the Koopa, not even bothering getting a cape. He's just going to power through here. So if you guys don't know, Calco has the world record in no cape in a star world, and he's a no cape god. He's really good with no cape. So this is definitely his expertise. And what's funny is on the restream, that was that looked pretty synced. I know the timers are slightly off, but that was pretty cool. Alright, so yeah, the main thing throughout this entire run you'll realize is that Calco has the cape er, Panda Bear has the cape and Calco doesn't. So it can either be an advantage or disadvantage depending on how each player plays each level. We're good for tonight now, probably, but in the future it'd probably be better if someone else could until I get a new computer. Alright, so Panda Bear getting a 250 there. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Sorry about that. That was my fault. That was my fault of audio, with desktop audio. My headphones accidentally got unplugged. <laughs> Alright. Yeah, I'm hoping Def will be here for the next one. Sorry about that. But yeah, both runners having no issues so far. Pretty much anybody's game. We'll see if uh, Calco has any issues with not having a cape. So Panda Bear now just slightly ahead because of having the cape. And Ghost House is a decent bit fast, or decent bit slower there. You have to go to the right and spin jump off the boo. We'll see if Kalku can get through Star World, or Star World TP3. I don't know why I said Star World, I was thinking Star World 3. Uh, if you can get through TP3 without a cape. TP3 no cape is really impressive to pull off. And can, it can be one of the stressful and harder levels for some newer players, or just players that aren't as consistent with certain strats. So it looks like he's gonna get through here, no issue. That uh, that midway section was really impressive. 262. Very nice. That was very clean. 
Can't complain about that. Panda Bear also got a 62. It's amazing that Calco was able to be just as fast with no cape. So yeah, Calco, I, yeah, Calco will be getting a Yoshi here. While Panda Bear doesn't need it because he can just fly up to the keyhole and BD1. I'm just gonna go for the blue shell strat here. Very nice. Doing a little swag swerpy there. But yeah, Panda Bear is making up some good time because he has the cape, so he's saving minimal amount of time every level. He's saving a little bit. Because he got a, I believe he got a 63 or 62 there. I wasn't fully paying attention while well, Calco gets a 255 because he has to get Yoshi. And this is where Panda Bear will save even more time because with Morton Fly, he can just save the cycle. And also, he doesn't have to do room two because he just enters the bonus room pipe. So, out of Morton, it looks like Panda Bear will definitely, definitely be ahead due to having a cape. So, for the first. Alright, so. Oh, Panda Bear having a little trouble there for the spring door. Ooh! Losing his Fire Flower. That's not good. At least he still has his cape. Looks like Panda Bear just finishing out here. 827 whistle from Panda Bear. We'll see what Kelko gets. I guess about an 830, 837 whistle, about 10 seconds apart, not bad. So both just in the cutscene here, considering it's cape and no cape, this is pretty good so far. Uh, Calico's been pretty clean overall, while Panda Bear had a few mistakes, so it's definitely evened out in comparison to what it normally would be if both players played to the top. Oh, Panda Bear! Losing his cape at the beginning there. Calco now has a good advantage with just having Yoshi. Ooh, Panda Bear getting the low percent strat there, though. Very nice. And Calco just finishing here. P Calco is just barely behind Panda. And he will be ahead out of VS1 if he doesn't mess up, because he has the Yoshi. I think Panda Bear is going for the backup cape here. Calco having a little fun there, going back and forth. So Calco have, now has a decent lead. He got through uh, VS1 pretty well, considering a no cape. While Panda is grabbing the cape here. And Panda's now basically just trying to finish the level and kind of just get back in the game after that mistake. So now Calco has a nice considerable lead. Like about 15 seconds, I would say. 15, 20. So Calco is now grabbing a, another Yoshi here, which is going to be useful for upcoming levels. We ideally want to keep him for a while here. So yeah, uh, Calco will be riding the Yoshi, you'll see him for a bit, while well, Panda is just going to be flying over the levels again now that he has his cape. Both runners are still on the same level, which is nice to see. Calco is about half a level ahead, I would say. That'd be amazing if we saw a really good record, or close to record time here in No Cape No Star, because just before this match, we saw a really darn good time in normal No Star World from Louie of 32.56. Oh, and there you see Calco just ate one of the dolphins, because in the Japanese version, you can eat them. 
that's why we call them Yoshi food. Not sure why they removed that in other versions, but there you go. And Panda Bear is slowly making up a little bit of time. Definitely in this level you make up a bit of time because you don't have to... You can just simply fly over everything. Instead of having to be in the water at the end. In the fort though it really doesn't make a difference because it's just a swimming level. So now it's just kind of who can keep their power up at the current moment. So be aware that Calco currently has a fire flower and Panda Bear doesn't. Uh, so that means Calco has a 15 second advantage in the Ludwig fight, because it's 15 seconds faster to just fire clear the Ludwig than have to go through the entire fight with a cape and casually beating him. Yeah, both runners having no issue getting through all the obstacles here. Very nice to see. Let's just hope that the Resnors are nice to both runners so they don't lose power ups, especially, especially Calco would be bad because they need end up being in a bad power-up situation. Looks like Reznor is going to be treating him nice, though. Very good. 1303 whistle. Okay. And Panda Bear. 1312 whistle. Nine seconds apart. Very nice to see. So in between Morton and that split, Panda Bear actually ended up saving a second overall. Or actually, no, it was Calco that was like 10 seconds behind before, and now Panda Bear's 9 seconds behind. So it actually completely swapped. I was thinking it was the same player that was behind. Yeah, so the positions have actually completely swapped in terms of time. Just pretty amazing. And that's not a bad thing, too, because it's pretty close. Like, you know, anything could happen in Forest. We'll have to see. In Forest, Panda Bear has the advantage if he has the cape, obviously. Of just flying through the Roy or the uh, beginning of Roy, uh, Roy fly. But we'll have to see how Clips and Ludwig and all that good stuff upcoming here goes. Yeah, currently we're kind of just seeing the players have fun in the auto scroller. Calco is able to do some extra swag just because he has Yoshi and he has that mushroom. So he's just messing around with grabbing the mushroom. Hello, everybody. Just coming in. Calco just messing around with the Yoshis, or with the Koopas. While well, Panda Bear is just deciding to fly through this entire thing. Which I will not recommend, because you could be thrown off, but I think as long as you just know when to stop flying, you should be okay. <laughs> Calco having fun with spamming the power up there. At least Calco's putting on an entertaining show here. That is nice to see. So Calco just wrapping up Butterbridge 1 here. And Panda Bear will be in the next second or two. So both runners will now be entering Butterbridge 2. Panda Bear definitely has the advantage here. Calco has to make sure he can just get through the level, and there's a blue shell around the midway that he can grab to fly off Yoshi. He just has to make sure that he plays this beginning section, right? It seems like he's doing good with that, so... Doesn't seem to be a worry. Yeah, there you go. He grabs the blue shell. <laughs> Again, Calco is doing some more swag with the mushroom block. <laughs> Calco doesn't fail to entertain this entire match, I'll tell you that for a fact. He is very much entertaining the entire crowd. That is nice to see. So Calco now entering the Ludwig fight. You know he doesn't have the cape here. He definitely has the advantage, because he has the Fire Flower, which will save 15 seconds in the fight, which is a bit faster. Calco just making his way through here. Panda Bear can save slight time in terms of being faster in the beginning, but again, Calco has that nice advantage in the fight. So it looks like Panda Bear... I think Panda Bear may have been going for flight. I'm not even sure if he was going for flight, but Panda Bear is just kind of casually going through this room here. 
Which definitely isn't the worst thing you can do to just play safe. Calco having some really nice fences though, just getting right on through. Panabear's not having an issue either, which is good to see. Calco finishing off Ludwig with a 1655. Let's we'll see what Panabear finishes off on. So Panabear has to casually do this fight. He can save a cycle here if he jumps on his head in midair though. And he gets it. And Panda Bear split. Uh, 1715, about. So about 20 second difference. So, again, I mean, anything could happen in force, and the match could completely change. Who knows? Kind of just have to wait and see how force as a whole treats them. Clips could come into play. Um, if they're close enough, Panda Bear can save some time with doing Roy Fly. So, we'll have to see what happens. Also, FY1 can be very tricky in OK if you're not paying attention. There is also some luck at the end of the Hammer Bro jump. I forget the exact chance on that because I have not played No Kid No Star in a considerably, considerable bit, bit now. Uh, looks like Calico got the nice backup flower there, so that's good to see. As long as you know how to time that. Oh, Calco. Yeah, Calco having a little bit of trouble. He did try to do the backup where he bounces off the shell, but he just barely was able to. He just barely missed that. Yo, Panda Bear with that nice uh, flower grab as well. That's m definitely more impressive to see with a cape I am. Because it definitely throws players off a bit. Ooh, Panda Bear! Hand up having the ditch Yoshi. Ooh. That just changed this a bit. While Calco gets into the wall first try. Gets a right into clip. So Calco's not putting down a fight. He's continuing. No issues for him. And it looks like Panda Bear will be going back for Yoshi. He just wants to get that Yoshi. Doesn't want to actually play FOI 2. I don't blame anybody. And there we go. Calco finishing off for 238. Well, Panda Bear is just entering a level. Ooh, Panda Bear getting kicked out. Not opting for a left. He's just going to try in the right here again. Oh, oh no, his subpixel could be very well messed up now. Ooh, Panda Bear's not having a good time here. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, Panda Bear is not having any luck. Well, Calico is just breezing through FOI 3. Cal uh, Panda Bear finally gets in. I think he lost about like four, four or five cycles. That was not pretty to see. While well, Calco just finished up the end there, that nice uh, Goomba jump. So Calco will lose slight time against Cape and Roy, but he has a pretty considerable lead right now, so that doesn't even really come into play. Maybe it will down the road, but at least for now, Calco will still have a considerable lead leaving the castle, as long as he doesn't mess up. He does have the backup flower as well. So I'm assuming he's going to go for the strat to keep it. Well, Panda Bear is just entering FOI 3. And Calco is just having fun on the Coin Snake. Alright, Calco doing a scroll here, so I'm assuming he is going for the setup. Yep, there we go. Keeps the keeps the fire. Very nice. So he will still get to get the he will still get to have that five second time save in the boss fight. Very nice. Well Panda Bear's just finishing up FY3. And Calco getting a 21-31 whistle. Well you will see what Panda Bear gets here in a minute. 
Hopefully he gets through Royfly first try. Ooh, Panda Bear. Messing up the flight there. That's a costly death. Now he has to go back for a cape. Guess him, he's just gonna go into FOI 1. Yeah, Ben. Yeah, the only thing that's really went wrong for Kelko in general is that look jump. Panda Bear with another death. Look, resetting? Uh. Is that a forfeit? I'm presu- Oh! Well... Uh... I guess we have a forfeit on Panda's side. Well, Kalko is just finishing up. Look, by the looks of it, that is a forfeit. I don't see how could continue. Just to leave the file for good as well. That's sad to see. Even when players aren't having a good time, it's at least, like, a good run. It's at least nice to see them finish, but I guess sadly Panda didn't want to finish after that, uh, downfall in Forest, which... I don't blame him in certain ways, because that went really bad really quickly. He was... he was in a good position for a while. He recovered really well from VD1, from losing Cape there, but I guess not so good luck in Forest. Forest can really... It can either make your run amazing, or it can completely destroy your run. You never know what's going to happen. I like to call it the Forest of Collusion, which I've seen some other runners call it. Calco getting a nice door entry there. Panda Bear doing the, or Calco doing the intentional D-boost. Very nice. So now the rest of this will basically just be a no cape, no star uh, playthrough. Speedrun. Alright. Calco entering Chocolate Island 2 as small Mario due to the D boost. Just gonna be going through here, which can be pretty spooky. As long as Calco actually finishes this, Mel Cockney will be the winner. He has to actually finish it though. If they both forfeit, I'm there'd have to be a rematch, because there'd be no person that would move on then. Hey there, Twitch Master. Alright, Calco just finishing up CI2. Pretty impressive to see him go through that level small. It can be very scary because of all the chucks at the end. But if you're not if you don't know what you're doing, it could be a pretty good death there. Alright. Calco preserving his P speed there and hitting the chuck with the shell. He's gonna be grabbing the midway here. Yep. Yeah, no cape, no star world in general is really impressive. And if you want a bit, of, if you are already familiar with no star world and you want a bit of a challenge, I definitely recommend trying it. I definitely want to get back into it sooner or later and improve my time. Kalko is still on a pretty good run, considering too. Out of Castle Five, he was plus 13 seconds off of PB, and be aware his PB is world record, and world record is pretty darn good. So. He can still get a 34 in this. It, well, yeah, it wouldn't make sense if both forfeited. Because, like, just finish. You know, you got, at least one person has to finish the run. Mm -hmm. Alright. So, 26 minutes in, just entering Wendy. So, he'll be doing the damage boost here to get through Crusher Skip. And he's just timing Small Mario just right to get under that Crusher, which is pretty spooky. Being Small Mario in this section, definitely... Ooh. And Calico opts to not get the midway. I'm presuming it's a lot easier to just get through here, small Mario. And yep, he's just getting through. Look at that. No sweat. 
That was very clean Wendy. Honestly, that was really good. That was really clean. Can't complain about that. Twenty-six fifty-four whistle from Kelka here. Yeah, TM. That fast room two is really impressive. He actually saved time in that split. He saved half a second. He's just a, roughly thirteen seconds behind PB. Since Kelko has no loss here, I'm hoping he at least tries Sandbar once. That would... Might as well, since there's no loss in it. Yeah, but this is a really good uh, showcase to make up for the forfeit. <clears throat> Calga here just swim through. And the reason why he's staying small here is just because it's easier to just get through the boost because you have a smaller hitbox. I'm presuming. That's why he's just being small here. Yeah, just swimming through the boo rings. Should be getting. So I'm guessing, is he just gonna swim through the blue rings then since he's not getting any type of despawn? Yeah, he's just gonna swim through. Wow. <laughs> okay. That is really scary. Calco avoiding the star. That is a really tight. I forget how many frames that is. But, okay. <laughs> Pretty impressive. He's just showing off. And... Orb! So there we go, we're out of the ghost ship, and we will now be going into Valley Bowser. Does it feel... So there we go, now into Vob 2. Or Vob 1. Vob 2 is after this. <laughs> Calco here just making this look like a child's game, man. Just getting through here, making it look like it's nothing. I mean, this game can be played for children, you know what I mean. He's just getting right through here. Fob 2, I'm hoping he goes for Sandbar here, because there's no loss at this point, so I'm really hoping he just goes for it. And I'm presuming he at least knows that Panda forfeited, because I'm presuming he at least saw the race room. Um, so I'm hoping he at least goes for it, since there's really no reason to not, if he wants to at least try to show off here. Yo, and he gets it. Very nice. <laughs> there we go. Just getting that sandbar. Calco's just breezing through this game today. I'm sorry the stream slightly lagged there. I closed up Panda Bear's window to see if that fixes it. <laughs> really hoping we can get someone else to restream the next one at 9. Oh, missing the luck jump there. But there you go. Sandbar Vob 2. Very nice to see. And we'll see how the fort goes. This should be good. He just 
just makes this game look so, he just makes this game look like it's nothing, just kinda getting through all this. Just going back and forth to maintain his peace speed. Just spitting on the potabos here, getting that crusher skip. Very nice. And there you go, that was a clean fort. And there you go, last Resnor down. Let's go. Very impressive run by Calco here. Really can't ask for more out of a race run. Really can't. That was really good. So now we just had the Bowser fight here. Just gotta hop through Dark Room. And there we go, entering Bowser. So yeah, this can be like 15 to 20 seconds off his record if he gets a good Bowser fight. Which I presume he should. Because he's been doing he's been nailing everything else pretty well. So I think yeah, really the only major mistake he's made this run is it wasn't even a mistake, he just didn't get lucky with the hammer bro jump. At the end of FY1. Because that jump is luck. So yeah, Calico is getting, waiting for the setup here for Ball Scoop. There we go, so now he has a Koopa for the second phase to skip one of Bowser's balls. Entering phase two here. Calico just having a bit of fun throwing the Mech Koopa around. Nothing really else to do, so might as well. Intentionally throwing the Mech Koopa all the way over there. Since it doesn't really matter, you can just kind of throw it wherever as long as you can just grab it. And there you go, very nice ball skip. Now just waiting for his Mecha Koopas. There we go. One more phase to go, leaving some gents. Really good ending to a run. You really can't complain about this at all, this has been very... Very nice to see. There we go. Got one more hit. And then we're done. Wow, I see how it is. Okay. Come on. Okay, well, you can see there's 34 or 43. Just to confirm, that was a 34 44 uh, wrist time as well. All Congrats, right. Calgo. I love how my stream buffered right before Peach. That was a good meme. But yeah, I hope my stream held up well, just barely made it. And I'm not sure if that's my computer or Calco stream. I'm hoping it's not my computer, but it very well could be. But yeah, GG Calco. I'm not sure, uh, Ben, if you could pull up the bracket, but who will Calco be going up against? Calco will be playing the winner of me versus Arn, which was Arn, so that's going to be very exciting. If uh, Arn pulls off time like he did against me, Calco is in trouble. But, as he's already shown us, he doesn't need a cape to get through this game and win some races, so... Yeah. Massive GG's. Yeah, and, uh, 34-43, pretty good. Say if Aaron doesn't get the best of runs and he gets, like, a, a low 35 even, then Kelko can still beat him. Clearly without a cape, you can clearly see. He can, he can get through the game. So, we'll have to see how that goes. Um, so, tonight's... We have... Uh, two more matches tonight? We have, uh... Just one more. Oh, do we just have one more? I thought there were... Oh, we... yeah, okay. Did, he, did one of them get... Oh, yeah, one of them got rescheduled for tomorrow, I think, right? Possibly, yeah. Yeah, okay, so... Uh, at 9, we have Sten versus Tina Hacks. 
and then tomorrow, which was originally supposed to be tonight, but instead tomorrow is going to be TNT versus Weird Waldo at 10. Uh, so yeah, we have some good races coming up here, and we have some more later in the week as well that we'll talk about once we get towards them. Looks like Calco's going to be playing Yoshi's Island. <laughs> um, but yeah, I think that that was a really, uh, you know, Panda Bear forfeit, which was sad to see. That was still a very exciting race to watch, just to see Halco get through the game and completely destroy it without a cape. That was very nice to see. But, uh, yeah, I apologies for the beginning. I am hoping that somebody else will be around to restream. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'll just be there for backup anyway. It's yeah. not an issue. Yeah. Uh, the other thing, just with regards to the match that's coming up, that's Stan versus Tina Hacks. Uh, that's winner round four. And that is a quarterfinal match, uh, mm -hmm. obviously leading to the semifinals. So that's a big one. I encourage everyone to check that out. And then it's be exciting. I believe that's is it? It's going to be halted for a bit, I think, for some of the losers matches, if I'm correct. Yeah, just for a couple of days. Okay. Um, we'd like to do the last ten matches in order. Yep. It'd be like from about match seventy-six. This was match number fifty-eight. So great pace, guys. We're nearly there. That is out of 85, if people are wondering. Alright, well, that's that's a wrap for now, but uh, we'll see you guys yep. at 9, and hopefully with a better restreamer. I am definitely can restream, it's just that my computer is not the best right now, but hopefully in a week or two I'll be able to, to upgrade it a bit, and I can help out a bit. But yeah, I hope we were able to pass by for this. So yeah, I hope everybody... Has a good night, and if you guys are still up, you guys can join us in about an hour, hour and 15 minutes or so. So yeah, I that's really it to say. Uh, we go for that, Sten versus Tina Hacks, that should be pretty interesting to see. And in the meantime, in the meantime, everyone can go and support Louis, because he could break out a world record any day, basically. He almost yeah, did that. today, so. Um, yeah. So yeah, we'll see you guys in a bit.